The U.S. House now poised to vote on the impeachment of President Donald Trump Wednesday. If the president is impeached, it will then move on to the U.S. Senate. The North Carolina delegation in the House is widely expected to vote among party lines. But what about our senators? CBS 17 is your local election headquarters, and we are digging deeper into that very question. From the beginning, Republican North Carolina Senator Tom Tillis has been outspoken in his criticism of the attempt to impeach President Trump. Some of those opinions expressed on the president's favorite mode of communication, Twitter. But he is not as strong in North Carolina as Donald Trump. He runs six to eight points behind the president in polls. Director of the Meredith Poll and political science professor David McLennan agrees that Tillis voting to remove the president is not likely to happen. But either way he votes can have an impact on Tillis's 2020 election. By most accounts, it's considered among the most vulnerable seats in the Senate. He's in a tough spot. North Carolinians are pretty split on whether they favor impeachment and removal or not. Um, his embrace of Donald Trump may end up hurting him. Then there is Senator Richard Burr. He comes out of more the Ronald Reagan side of the Republican Party, a very traditional Republican. It doesn't seem to have been taken over by Trumpism. Burr's term is not up until 2022, and he says he will not run again. Even though he's been in the Senate for a long time, been a good Republican, you know, he's also someone who preceded Donald Trump by a long time and he's been in the Senate and may in fact do what's right for the Senate as opposed to doing what's right for the president. But whether what's right for the country is the same as what's right for the president or different in Burr's mind is yet to be seen. Shouldn't fall forward. So an interesting aside, I learned this today, as we all know, if there's a tie in the Senate, uh, the vice president breaks that tie, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so the rules are set by the simple majority, 51 votes. You need to set the rules as we move into the proceedings in the mm -hmm. U.S. Senate. Mm -hmm.